Hi again. So this is going to be a very quick video. I'm going to do the performance test for my new espresso machine, the WPM KD310. So there are three tests I'm going to do. Uh, the first one is the time it's going to preheat my machine. The quicker, the better, obviously. And you can, as you can see, the light is blinking. So it's in the preheat mode. The second test I'm going to do is the water temperature stability test. So this machine, it goes from 86 degrees to 98 degrees Celsius. So you can make two degrees of adjustment each time. Uh, so, and the PID control is going to control the temperature. So let's we're going to see how stable it is. And the third test I'm going to do is the steam performance test. I'm going to steam 200 grams of water in the milk jug. I'm going to see how long it takes. It's, it's going to steam it from room temperature to 60 degrees. And I'm going to wait how much water content is added inside. So it's not going to be good if gonna, it's going to add a lot of water because it's going to dilute your milk. So this, temp, this machine, it's a triple thermal block machine. So they have a tr uh, thermal block. They have a repetition of being unstable, but we're going to see how it performs. So there are two thermal blocks to heating the water coming out from the group head and one for the steam. So um, as you can see, it's um, it took me 2 minutes and 41 seconds to heat up this machine. And obviously it's a very quick preheating time, but I think you need to heat it more because the port filter is not going to be heated up. So I think you need at least uh, 5 to 8 minutes to heat it up. So this is the second test I'm going to do. I'm going to lock the temperatures, the water temperature coming out in a 6 seconds of intervals. And But I want to say the temperature is not, it does not reflect the actual temperature. Because the thermometer I'm using, it's a bimetal strip uh, thermometer. So you need to immerse the whole thing in the water to get accurate results. But the temperature I'm getting out, it's only 65 degrees. But I'm going to say it, it kind of reflects how stable is the temperature. So I'm just going to take that for reference. So I'm going to repeat it for, do the test for 90 and 96 degrees. I, I'm putting the results down there so you can see it. And this is the third test I'm doing. I'm going to see how, it, how well it performs for steaming milk or water. So I'm measuring the temperature of uh, the water at room temperature. And I'm going to weigh 200 grams of water. And I'm going to steam it later to 60 degrees and weigh it again to see how much water it it adds into the milk jug. So there are seven settings for the steaming the uh, steaming the milk uh, from 0, 01 to 0, 07. I'm going to use 0, 03 first uh, in the medium range of setting, and then I'm going to use 0, 07, the maximum setting. Um, as you can see later the, from the results, uh, in the 0, 03, it took 25 seconds and it adds around 15 grams of water. And in zero to 07, it took 22 seconds, 3 seconds uh, uh, faster, and it adds 19 grams of water. So what I recommend is uh, you can use around at the middle range of steam pressure because it, I don't want to add that much water into the milk. It's going to dilute it. But uh, in, it's only going to be a few seconds of difference. So uh, it's not going to affect much. Uh, so that is it. Uh, thank you.